Perfectly crafted, everyone is unique. At the Rittner School for Early Childhood Education, they always make time for story time. From the top of your head. And today, these young kids are getting a lesson in self-esteem. To the soles of your feet. You know, I hope that they begin to see themselves as valuable, that they matter. Which shoes shall I choose with bottoms hard like steel? Aja Owens and Adrian Draper are sisters and today's guest readers. But you must see your image. They're also the authors of the books they are reading. They grew up in Jennings and even when they had to stay put, it was reading and writing that took them places. Honestly, I started writing on anything. I mean, I would write on a napkin, a receipt, you know. It's almost like therapy for some people. It is. It is because, you know, it's giving you permission to release. But as they got older, they started to think about the children's books they used to read. And even the ones with illustrations lacked color. We didn't really see a lot of characters that looked like us. And so it was important for us that as we're, one, sharing these narratives and these stories, that also the illustrations look like the kids that we either see or know or ourselves. So which reading was the best for you? Like so Owens and Draper started like creating their own stories. A whole conversation about basketball. <laughs> Collectively, they've now published five children's books that reflect families and children of color. It's not just African-American characters or whatever, it's Hispanic characters, it's Asian characters. We just want to make sure that it's the same as what you see in your schools, in the community, you know, in life. During the pandemic, the sisters donated their books to some schools. What do we do when we're being good listeners? And one ended up in the hands of Rittner principal Jennifer Singleton. I pull out this book and I wasn't familiar with it, so I, I'm thumbing through it and I'm reading it. And the message is just like, it was so inspirational to me. The name of that book, Rock What You Got. Okay. When I say rock what, you say you got rock what. You got rock what. You got it's starting that message very early to love you. Always. We are all oh, unique. Yeah. We're, as we grow, we're going to change. But as we change, you know, we're still valuable. I only really like this one. You liked this one the best? I like this one. You liked this one? What did and you their like messages about? apparently jumped off the page. My friend. <gasps> Does she look like your friend? Mm -hmm. Are you perfect in every way? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I am. My slippers, of course, but not on the couch. When they're not writing, they're working. The shoes we will choose that makes us feel great. Draper is an educator with the Pattonville School yeah. District. To the world, you mean a lot. And Owens is a community activist Everybody who's running for mayor of Jennings. You are perfect in every way. But the plan is for more books with the hope of passing their passion on. You are beyond special. To more kids. Learn to love words, learn to love expressing yourself, love to, you know, just value who you are. Say, rock what you got. Rock, rock what you got. got. Children's book authors Aja Owens and Adrian Draper. We had a rock star with the kid with the skeleton shirt right. on. Writing new chapters on the importance of being different together. Yeah. <laughs> it was so fun. They're inspirational. They are absolutely inspirational. Okay. Yeah. So what was your, like, your favorite part? It was so fun.